Hi everyone! In this video I will show you how to set up HP NY6120E on any smartphone so you will be able to print and scan wirelessly from any device in your Wi-Fi network and I will show you everything. I suppose you have already installed cartridges and this printer loaded some paper in the paper tray and now you have this picture on the printer's display and your Wi-Fi indicator is blinking. If the Wi-Fi indicator is glowing it means the printer was already connected to some Wi-Fi network and you need to reset the network settings. To reset network touch the menu button. If you don't see the menu button you just need to swipe right to the end. Uh, now touch the menu and scroll down and find settings. Tap on settings, then tap on network and scroll all the way down until you see restore network settings. Hit restore and confirm your action. Now the network settings are restored and we can set up the Wi-Fi connection. So make sure you are in the network menu. Once again, to get there, you need to press menu on the home screen, scroll down, find settings, tap on that, and tap on network. Uh, now just tap on Wi-Fi and tap the start button next to Wi-Fi setup. Now it's searching for Wi-Fi routers. Uh, this is my uh, network name. I have 2.4 GHz band, which is wider in range, and 5 GHz band, which has faster connection speed. Let me connect to the faster network, because my router is just on my table. Uh, hit next here, and now you need to enter your Wi-Fi password. So tap on this field once. You will see the on-screen keyboard, and now you have just like on Android devices. And now you have to enter your password. You can tap on this eye icon to see what you type in and hit OK. Now submit, check your settings, you can tap on show password to check if the password is correct, press OK and it's connecting to the router's network. Connection successful, it's updating IP address. IP ad you may need your IP address to enter the printer settings from the web interface on your computer or smartphone. So if you need it, just write it down. Um, press OK. You can also print report, but we don't print it so far. I will show you how to see your uh, Wi-Fi settings. So you need to stay in Wi-Fi menu and scroll down and tap on Wi-Fi details. Here you can see the signal strength, the connection status is connected, IP address, band frequency, network name, host name of your printer, bonjour name, IPv6, MAC address, so all details you can find here and actually you don't need to print a page each time you need to see the settings. Next, on your smartphone, you need to install HP Smart application. You can get it from App Store on iPhone, from Google Play Store on Android devices, and you can even install it on your computer, either Mac or Windows. HP has a single application for all operating systems, and you don't need anything else. You don't need drivers, additional settings, just install HP Smart, and you're all set. So, find HP Smart, install it, and let's open. Accept terms and conditions or decline optional data. Now tap on set up a new printer. Allow to find devices on local networks. Uh, this is necessary permission, allow it. And now select printer is already connected to network. Here is your printer, HP and Y6100E series is what you need. Tap on that. And your printer is instantly connected. This tile at the top with the green check mark um, shows you that your printer is ready to work. You can see estimated supply levels. You can switch between printers, just swipe right to add new printer and then 
between printers using this uh, top panel. Uh, also, you can tap on the tile to enter the printer's settings get the network information, printer information, and so on. Uh, but now let's start printing and scanning. That's why we are here. Uh, so tap on print documents. And one more thing about this application. To use this app, you have to create an HP account or sign in if you have one. This is necessary. They force you to do it. Uh, I will skip the step of account creation. I will just sign in and show you how to use the printer. Uh, account creation is just as simple as on Amazon or Facebook. So let me just skip it. I'm signing in. Username password, loading HP account, access to photo library if you wish to uh, print photos from your smartphone, full access. And now let's go back to home and tap on print documents. As you can see here, you can print from your Dropbox, from Google Drive, from other cloud services, or just from your file system. Of course, you don't have to use uh, HP Smart Application each time you need to print. You can just open any application that uh, has print feature, let's say Gmail, uh, open any email you wish to print, tap on three dots, tap on print all, then select your printer here adjust your settings and print a document. But let's go back to the application. Uh, let's, for example, print for, from file system. Uh, let's say we wish to print a document. Let's select any we wish to print. To start printing, to adjust printing settings, just tap on print preview, printer icon. Now make sure your printer is selected here. Swipe up to change print settings. Now set your paper size, it's A4 or letter. Select how many copies you wish to print, use the plus and minus buttons. Set the print quality, uh, set the page range, do you wish to uh, print all of them or, or just some of them. Let's deselect pages three and four and leave just the first two pages. For this example, uh, you wish to print color or grayscale or black only uh, and also you can enable two-sided printing this printer is capable of printing uh, two-sided documents automatically so you don't need to turn page each time so let's test this feature um, short edge or long edge hmm. short edge okay let's just test now tap on this back arrow to go back and once you're done with your settings just tap on print and wait for printer to do its job and guys i mistaken a few seconds ago uh, if you need full page two-sided printing uh, you need to select long edge otherwise uh, your document will be printed upside down on the second page short edge mode is for booklets so if you need to fold your uh, sheet like this after printing so select short edge if you need full page two-sided, you need to select long edge. Uh, now let's tap on print and see, now it pulls the paper back to print the second side. Yes, now everything is correct. We have a good quality two-sided document. That's it. Sometimes in the application you will see offers from HP like this. Uh, you can consider it later, but now let's tap on not now, go back to the home screen and let me show you how to scan documents. To scan from the printer, you need to select the tile called printer scan and tap on it. Now skip all the tutorials. Over here I will show you everything. To scan document, first you need to place it correctly in the scanning unit. So open the scanning unit lid and place your document facing down and make sure that the top left corner of your document is aligned to the top left corner of the scanning surface. You have a like shaded corner over here. So put your document and glide it to this corner and align the edges of your document to the borders of the scanning surface. Also notice that you have paper size markers over here. So notice your paper size for the future settings and close the lid. 
Now in the application, adjust your scan settings. First tap on this drop down at the top and set the page size or leave it like entire scan area. But let me set A4 because this is my paper size. Uh, actually, you can leave entire scan area and later adjust the document borders. Uh, there is no problem there. Uh, now set quality. I wish to scan in the best quality and set color or grayscale. Let's leave it color. Tap on done once you're done. Next, tap on the gear icon at the top right. And if you need, enable auto enhancements for your image and auto orientation just in case you occasionally put the document upside down. Uh, now tap on done. Uh, in this toolbar, you can switch to photo scan, document scan, or, or batch scan, combining photos and documents. And in source, you can switch to camera and combine scan from the flatbed and scans from camera. Let me show you how it works. Uh, let's switch to camera, allow access to the camera. And now you can take pictures of your documents and convert them into scans or press the auto button over here and scan documents automatically. It automatically detects borders. It makes a scan and right away you can replace the document and scan the next one. So you can scan a batch of document in just in seconds. But now let's switch back to the scanner to HP NY 6100 and our settings are done already and let's tap on the scan button over here. Now it's making some robotic so sounds, the scanning is in process. Scanning is finished and it takes you uh, to detect edges menu, so you can drag the corners or drag borders to set the area of your document or set to auto detection, but it it works bad. It's working bad in this case. Or tap on full size, uh, then tap on next. In this menu, you can edit your pages. You can swipe down to switch between pages. Here are our camera scans. On each scan, you can tap on these three dots. Tap on edit. And now crop the scan, adjust uh, color, saturation, contrast, and so on. Tap on done each time you need to save your settings. Um, let's go back to this menu. What else you can do? You can apply filters, you can add text, you can mark up your document, you can enable auto enhancement, enhancement. Uh, very good application. You also, you can reorder pages over here. Tap on reorder and just drag and drop to reorder, tap on done to save. And you can rotate pages, select page you, you wish to rotate and press this button and done. Uh, also you can add more pages. So if you wish to add a page from scanner, just uh, put the next page into the scanning unit and tap on scan once again, or switch to camera and add more documents from your camera. Once again, detect the edges of the documents manually or somehow automatically. Tap next and once you're done, once you scan everything you need in one document, go to save this document, tap on share slash save. Rename your document in this field if you wish so. Uh, select file type and remember that PDF only supports multiple page documents. So if you need multiple pages, select PDF or you can uh, save it as image. PNG, TIFF or HEIF, it's iPhone's format. Uh, set file size, actual or you can compress your file if it's too big. And tap on continue. Now let's save to files or you can save to HP Smart Cloud if you use this service or you can print it right away. But now let's just save. So select location. You can save to any folder on your device. Tap on browse to select different folder. You can select to iCloud Drive as always. Let's just save to documents. Tap on save and that's pretty it. The scanning is finished.
And that's pretty it for today. HP Smart is really smart. It works very good on any devices. Uh, remember, if you have some connection issues with this printer, you can just reset Wi-Fi settings anytime and connect from scratch. You already know how to do it. And I hope this video was helpful. If yes, consider to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, any questions, comment below and be awesome. Bye, guys.